Well, we've got some pretty interesting and very unexpected details about Agatha, Coven of Chaos. One of the actresses associated with the project did an interview and spilled all kinds of details about the show. Let's take a couple minutes to dive into the interview, talk about what she had to say, and her big reveal on who Joe Locke is actually playing. I got news for you. It's not Wiccan. Well, I think Kevin Feige is firing up the Marvel snipers because we've got some really interesting new details from Patty Lapone. As many of you know, she's been cast in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. But no details about her role, or really any role, have been given to us since this news came out. Now, recently she did appear on The View, and during the conversation she dropped all kinds of details about her character, as well as Joe Locke. And honestly, it doesn't sound like Locke is actually playing Wiccan after all, and maybe our original prediction will turn out to be true. Now, during the conversation she said about the show, well, it's a coven of witches, and I play Lilia Caldro, who apparently is in the Marvel world. And I researched her. She's hot. She's really hot. She's got a great body and raven hair. Now, if you don't know who Lilia Caldro is, she was a fairly powerful wit who was tasked with guarding the Book of Cagliostro, who many of us know from the Doctor Strange series. In the comic, she was eventually seduced by Baron Mordo, who stole the book, but eventually formed some uneasy alliances with Doctor Strange. She was a pretty short-lived character in the comics, not really being around too long, but it does go to show how deep Marvel is diving into some of their magical characters to fill up the ranks of this show. Now, the more interesting thing she had to say, though, was about Joe Locke. As many of you know, people have been pretty solid that he's actually playing Wiccan, who effectively is the Scarlet Witch's son. But during this interview, Lapone actually had something quite different to say. And it turns out he's playing what she called the familiar. She actually said, We are a coven of witches, and the witches are Catherine Hahn, Aubrey Plaza, and the familiar. If anybody knows Heartstopper, is Joe Locke. And Sashir Zamata, Ali An, and myself. And I play Lilia Caldro, a 450-year-old Sicilian whose power is divination and whose trial is tarot. Now, there are a ton of details that she gave away here, but let's focus on Joe Locke for a second. We have been hearing for a while that Joe Locke could be Wiccan. We've talked about this a lot. But he or she calls him the Familiar. Now, in the comics, Agatha actually has a Familiar called Ebony, which is a black cat. But if you remember correctly in this series, she had that rabbit, who we all know is Nicholas Scratch. Now, Nicholas Scratch in the comics is also Agatha's son. So I have to say, if I'm making any predictions here, and this was our initial prediction for Locke, that he isn't playing Wiccan, but he is indeed playing Nicholas Scratch. This would make a lot of sense, considering the full context of the show, and makes it much more an Agatha-focused show than effectively a sequel to WandaVision or having some attention diverted away from the show towards the Scarlet Witch. Now, I also found it pretty interesting she knew very specifically what kind of powers her witch had, which to me indicates that each one of these witches is most likely going to have some sort of specialized magic or skill that separates them from the rest of the coven. I also noticed she grouped Aubrey Plaza in with the rest of the coven, meaning the theory that she's playing Morgan Le Fay might not ultimately hold up. This has been one of those roles Marvel has kept under wraps pretty deeply, and fans are pretty sure that she's going to be Morgan Le Fay, but given that we now know Joe Locke is not Wiccan, I completely feel like every character in this show is totally up in the air. Now, we still don't have any idea when this show is going to be released. We know it is currently in production, and honestly, I do believe it's going to be one of the shows that gets a significant delay. We are hoping for it by the end of this year, but honestly, I think we should reset all of our expectations to probably mid or late 2024. But we'll have to wait and see.